point is, this is not an abstract thing anymore. This is not a set of political talking points. This is reality. We can see how it is working. This law is working is act exactly as it's supposed to. There you have President Obama earlier today telling reporters at the White House that Obamacare is working and is a reality. And it's here to stay. The president's comments coming after a major victory for his health care legislation at the Supreme Court. The court ruled in a 6-3 to three vote to uphold the tax subsidies in Obamacare that it critics argued were illegal. For more now, we're joined by Michael Reagan, noted political commentator. You can also follow him on Twitter at Reagan World. And in Newsmax DC, Bill McCollum, chairman of the Republic, Republican State Leadership Committee, also a former member of Congress. It's good to have you with us, both of you. Thank you. All right, Mr. McCollum, let's start with you. You led the charge on one of the very first lawsuits to challenge Obamacare. What was your reaction uh, when you found out about today's ruling? Well, I was very disappointed, but not surprised. Chief Justice Roberts made the decision, I think, just to find this law up and uphold it and then go about seeking a way to make sure he justified that in some fashion. And it was a creative written opinion uh, with the court writing the law rather than interpreting it, in my opinion. But it just reinforces the fact that we've got to buckle down as Republicans on the conservative side and elect more and elect a president and change this law or the insurance premiums uh, that everybody's going to be paying are going to continue to go up. Their choices for physicians and providers are going to be less and we're all going to continue to suffer. So we need to really watch for the next election cycle, make sure not only the presidential election but all the way down the ballot to state legislative elections that we, we do our job and get out and get the vote out. Well, Michael, there were plenty of pundits online today, and many of them were not named. They were saying, though, this is actually a good thing for the GOP in the long run because the GOP did not have a real alternative ready to go. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I agree with that assessment. They did not have and still do not have uh, any plan in place. Now they're going to have to put a plan in place. If they're going to run for presidency in 2016 and say, we need to replace Obamacare with a better program, then they have to come up with that better program so that they can show it to the public and tell the public why it's better, why they should vote Republican in 2016 so that they can repeal and replace Obamacare. This will keep that front and center for the 2016 election. Now, Bill, you work with the RSLC and trying to get more people elected at the state level. What can be done at the state level to ensure that patients have more choices when it comes to their health care? Well, a number of these states, as you recall, have not adopted the exchanges. The federal level has come in, but the state exchanges aren't there. And they're still working with Medicaid their own way. Uh, they can continue to be creative, and they should be, and I hope that they do steady as you go. Uh, I also think, because I've been in the room about it, that we do, as Republicans, nationally have a plan. It just was ready to go if this decision went a different way. Now we need to have it ready to go and get it out, as Mike Reagan has just said. Uh, and, and let people see what we're proposing, because we're proposing more choice. We're going to have, a, I'm quite sure, in whatever is agreed upon, a refundable tax credit to take care of the people with pre-existing conditions and get people insured. But the key thing is that we, when we get our chance, are going to dismantle the existing Obamacare, and we're going to send it back to the states and say, look, individuals are going to get to choose their own insurance carrier. They're going to use their own money. They're going to get either tax or refundable tax credit. Uh, to work with, and we get the federal government out of the business and let the states regulate insurance as they should be uh, and get rid of all this overhead and, and federal government knows best stuff that's in Obamacare that's costing everybody and, and causing us to lose the freedoms that we've been used to and the choices we've had in, in our health care. You know, Bill makes a great point there because there is no competition. Here in California, there's no competition really for health care to be able to get a better price. Look at my wife. My wife used to pay $2,500 deductible. Now under Obamacare, she pays $7,500 deductible and only allows her to go to the doctor three times in a given year. That's not a better program. I tweeted out today at Reagan World, I said, I think of it more as the unaffordable subsidy care instead of the Affordable Care Act because it is unaffordable for most Americans and they're gonna have to be subsidized by the government to pay for it, which is going to drive up the cost for everybody. And ultimately, it's going to cost people their lives because the government's going to choose who's going to get health care and who's not going to get health care as you age. 
It is concerning. We're already seeing those uh, cost increases, and we know that these insurance companies are asking for huge hikes in states all across this country. We don't know where those are going to settle, uh, but there are a lot of concerns right now about, what, about what's going to happen. Part of the problem, guys, uh, with just a second ago, there are plans, as Bill did point out, uh, but not real one real plan that the Republican Party has coalesced around, uh, and we imagine that will come here uh, at least in the 2016 trail or sooner in Congress. But, gentlemen, we want to thank you very much for being with us today. And, Sure, more to come here uh, as a discussion continues about Obamacare. You got it. Thanks, Thanks John. John. All right, Bill McCollum and Michael Reagan joining us. Uh, we got, uh, we're going to get your take on this. What do you think? Weigh in on social media here. We always love to hear from you at Newsmax Prime. Uh, get your take on what the Supreme Court did today in this 6 to 3 ruling upholding the subsidies under Obamacare. We'll be right back. The Republican presidential race for 2016 is heating up and more contenders are throwing their hats into the ring. Who are they? Where do they stand on the key issues? Who has what it takes to be America's next commander in chief? Newsmax answers with Decision 2016, the GOP race for the White House. This voter's guide is this year's must read for every conservative and it's 100% free. Nothing to buy, no credit card required. Just go to Newsmax.com slash GOP 2016. Get the inside scoop on top GOP contenders. Discover their views on key issues facing the nation and learn what's at stake for us all. No liberal spin, no mainstream media bias. Get it all, get it instantly, get it free. Only from Newsmax. Written by conservatives for conservatives. It's not to be missed. Get your copy of this critical 2016 election guide. Go to Newsmax.com slash GOP 2016 and get your copy today.